Welcome back, True Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans, to another infectious installment of Radioactive Replay Part 2. For Spider-Man 2002 in Part 1, we did Bruce Campbell's tutorial, and we also took out all the skulls in New York City. And now we are tracking down Uncle Ben's killer in the warehouse. This is the most intense level that I ever did as a kid. I died probably a bajillion times when doing this level, just trying to go after Uncle Ben's killer. But the nostalgia that's going to run through my veins just by doing this level alone is going to be insane. The fact that... They have not one, not two, but three separate levels, I believe, with the Skulls, because I know that we have Shocker's Gang uh, in the subway fight, which is amazing, but the Skulls themselves, I think they have like three levels, and this one level is just the best with the Skulls, especially this first guy that we're going to see walk through the door. He's literally like my favorite Skull, because just the dialogue they deliver and their way of the, how they talk, like their voices are just so hilarious, especially, oh, it's so good, listen to this. What's this door doing open? Man! People gotta be more careful. The cops could show up at any time. I wouldn't expect the cops if I was that guy. <laughs> Maybe look out for an arachnid problem of some kind. Haha! <laughs> okay, I'll leave right now. But what does Bruce have to say? You see those heavily shadowed areas? Whenever you're in a shadowed spot like that, you become invisible to the bad guys. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. yes because they try to make it like arkham uh because spider-man did it first folks not batman but spider-man with stealth except in this game not doesn't really work out that well um because usually what you would do instead is just go and fight them uh but stealth in a spider-man game is pretty cool and i know that they try to do it in the ps1 games as well but Come on, here, it's like, I don't know if it works too well, but we'll do this instead. Hi! Stealth failed, I know, but sorry, I want to try and beat up all the skulls. For when I, need it. Who's that? I don't know, it's some guy in a wrestling costume. Fight him. Get him. Punch him. Oh my god. This music, followed by just the silliness of the skulls, is literally too much for me to handle right now. I can't even go on without experiencing nostalgia overload just for one of these levels especially the warehouse level because oh my god this level is hard hey, or especially when i was a kid it was hard now it's That's a little it's easy but still kind of challenging even on normal mode when you fight them they are actually pretty difficult <laughs> web dome baby let's go <laughs> oh my god oh i remember all these good times fighting the skulls in the best way possible you guys got any uh, bones to pick? Oh, that's right! Fire barrel of epicness, baby. Let's go. Sorry, a punch is not going to do you any good. Especially bullets, too. Oh, my God. I can't... Make it stop. It's too much nostalgia for me to handle. Just for giggles, press the punch button near an object to try picking it up. Press punch again to throw it. Don't have time to pick it up? Too lazy? No problem. The kick button will launch an item without picking it up. There. Was that simple enough for you? Or should I play the whole game for you? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. If Bruce Campbell could play a whole Spider-Man game and hearing him commentate over it, um, that would make my life complete. But uh, I think we'll, we'll, we're doing okay right now, Bruce. If you hold down the triangle button, you can web up an enemy, stopping him in his tracks. He'll break out sooner or later, though, so don't get too comfy. Maybe I want to keep them in webs forever. You ever think about that? Wrapping them up in webs, keeping them like that forever, would actually not be that bad. It would help us in the long run. Stop right there, murderer! Huh? What the? Don't let him through! I got the door fuse, boss. He ain't getting through. <laughs> I love that guy so much. I hate him! I hated him when I was a kid, but right now I, I have nothing for respect for that guy. He's like the most loyal Skull member. Oh my god, especially getting pounded by these guys. I've had enough of your garbage, guys, alright? Air punch and wall punch, let's go. And he just teleports into nowhere. Epic. Oh my god, this game. I can't handle it right now. Again, I haven't played this game in years, so... Experiencing this level again brings back all the memories. Like, I remember crying at one point when I was a kid because I didn't... They've taken you know, the fuse out of the control panel. I'll have to get that back if I want to open that door. I will, Toby. Don't worry, but I'm just experiencing nostalgia overload, especially from this part right here. I hate this guy so much. So long, freak! Later, punk! You missed! 
Good job! Look at you. <laughs> pretty tough, huh? I am, but you're very impressive surviving that kamikaze explosion. Oh my god. I remember dying like so many times just from that guy alone. Oh my god. And these flips. When you see a vent cover on the ground, try looking up. Duh. See, chances are there's an open air vent overhead. Try looking for air vents and ceilings or walls when you're having trouble figuring out where to go next. Thanks, Bruce. As always, he never ceased to help us. Woo! Even as a kid doing that, like, literally the small detail of just flipping over something was incredible. And even doing this... Wait, no, we gotta do it in style. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, man, that's the way. I can't let anything stop me. I have to find a way to shut off the power so I can get through. And getting electrocuted would be the best thing to do. Or not being electrocuted, actually. That would help out a lot. Okay, now just in case you don't know already, you can activate a console or a switch by standing next to it, facing it, and pressing the punch button. Go ahead. Give it a shot. You never know what might happen. No, oh, seriously, go ahead. It'll be fine. Go ahead. I'm scared, Bruce. What if it hurts us in the long run? I don't know. That should do it. Now to find the guy who killed Uncle Ben. Yeah! Get him, Toby! Oh my god, we are going to rip him to pieces. Or tear you to pieces, as Toby would say. Oh my god. Being able to yo-yo up that is just the coolest thing ever, I swear. Oh. I've taken a fuse out of the control panel. I'll have to get that back if I want to open that door. We're gonna beat him to a bloody pulp, Toby. Hey, don't worry. You. What's up, guys? Take you down. Yeah. Your mouth. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Oh, if only I could have thrown all those boxes at them. What's you ain't get getting this fuse. Jump. Better take Boom, off while you down. still can. Easy to say that I'm behind a locked door, pieces. coward. How you like me now, punk? Ah. Toby, there's too many voices at once. You gotta control yourself, okay? <laughs> oh my god. I love that guy. Even though, like, as a kid, I had the hardest time trying to fight that guy with the green shirt that's where i need to be now i just need to find a way to get there you could um punch it toby since you're strong you ever thought of that that could work that takes care of that now to get that fuse yeah get that fuse baby take it from this punk which we might die from but i really hope not because if i die i do believe the whole level starts over again um which is going to be very very upsetting if that does happen Oh, yeah! Oh, my God, the yo-yo is the coolest thing ever, I swear. I swear to you, there's nothing cooler than doing that move. Oh, there he is, but I don't want to die. Here, get in the web fist. There we go. Or not. Who's that? It's me, your friendly neighborhood human spider. Oh, my God. Let's go, baby! Got nothing. Where, where, where's your gumption? Oh, yeah! Do the kick combos. Oh, man. What, no witty dialogue? Just guns and stuff? Come on, now. Yeah, that's right. This fuse should get that door open. Oh, man. I remember, like, even though we have a clear objective to go back there and, you know, get the fuse into the machine, I remember just running around this warehouse level because I thought it was so detailed back in the day. This is where the fuse goes. Now I've got you. Yeah, there it is. I was wondering, like, where was he going to say it? Yeah, now we got him. We got him on the ropes, baby. He's got nowhere to run. Oh, man. I really do not want to die, though. That would be ideal for me, actually. Okay. Whoa, not that way. We got to go the long way. I remember getting lost in these air vents because they're just so huge to explore in. Yeah, I thought that would open. Whew. Yeah, we need that. See, it's only normal right now. The difficulty is normal, and yet my health it was almost gone because of that. No, just Spider-Man, baby. What you got? Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Come on. I know you want to fight me. So tough now, huh? I'm pretty dang tough, dude. I got super strength. Home, I beat Bonesaw. What you guys got? Oh, man. Already. You what was that? <laughs> you guys are really related, I guess, because you're either clones or twins. I mean, one of them has to be the case. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Let's make this wrap up really fast. Oh, they're gone. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my god. Hardest part coming up right here, I swear. We can't, can't go through there, but this part we are going through. Ta-da! Oh my god. The warehouse hunt is completed. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. 
No, don't save the game. Go straight into the next level, I swear. This next level was impossible for me as a kid. I remember the shocker level in the train where, you know, like, he's shooting the blast at you. That level and this level were the two most difficult things in the entire game. Now, I might be able to do it, but when I was a kid, that was literally impossible. I think it still might be. Uh, Uncle Ben's killer is located at the top of the warehouse where we are going to rip his throat out and shove it down his face. Even though that makes no sense, we're gonna make it happen. Oh my god. We're gonna find the killer! Let's go! Oh boy. Oh my god. If I die uh, during the fight with Uncle Ben's killer, don't be surprised, because I think it still was a challenge for me to do that nowadays. Uh, where's all these different routes? Or this goes nowhere, but this goes up. Oh my god, this air vent! Look at the look at this old school 3D modeled structure. Hi! I'm Just dropping in! Pieces. Yeah, I don't have time for you, you punks. I got places to be and people to beat up. You guys included. Out of my down. face! Woo! Oh yeah, look at that kick punch! Oh, that's just like Ultimate Spider-Man where you can, you know, bounce off enemies. Spider-Man 2002 did it first, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Keep calling them names, Toby. That's the only way to go. Oh my god, I know there's like a secret area that you can explore in and you can find, you know, certain guys hiding in certain places. And, like, there's the combo, the golden spider combo, you know, token somewhere. Um, but yeah, I think they're located elsewhere, maybe. Oh my god, I can't right now, guys. This has to stop, seriously. It can't go on. This nostalgia is too much for me. And an empty room. Excellent. They just love hiding out in here and fighting Toby, just hiding in closets, I guess. Good job. If you press the R3 button, you'll enter look around mode. In this mode, a targeting reticle will appear, which you can aim with the right analog stick. When the reticle turns green, you're in zip range, baby. Press the R1 button to zip to the point you're aiming at, or press R3 again to exit look around mode. I love that this feature was so heavily used in the PS1 games, but here only it's used for zipping. But even back then, I still barely used look around mode, but I still like that they added it from the PS1 days. It's so iconic. Woo! Oh, awesome. I can't with this game already. Please. Yeah! Golden Spider, okay. Handspring, that's the one. The handspring move is so good. Um, Can I crawl like underneath the door and stuff and see if that works? I cannot, oh boy. Okay, well I know they're right outside, so. Oh boy. They don't see me? Okay, let's see if, nope, okay, Never mind. Hey, Skulls! Need any, uh, assistance? Oh, no! He's back! Green shirt guy's back. That's not good. Woo! Come on, take tires to the face. Okay, maybe not that. Later. Oh, my God. Even right now, I'm almost about to die. This is literally the most challenging game ever. Let's face it. There's nothing more embarrassing than getting whacked by some thug you lost track of. If you press the L1 button... You'll lock the camera view to your enemy so you can keep track of where he is. You can move the right analog stick to switch between multiple enemies. Thanks for the heads up, Bruce, but it's going to be really hard trying to fight all these guys at the same time, so I don't know if the lock-on feature would actually help us out. And I love how you can swing indoors like this. I just find it hilarious. where they go, though? Come on. Oh, man. This is going to be challenging, because I know that you can get killed instantly by the guy in the green shirt. Hey! Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Call any uh, spider assistance? How about a little taste of spider kick? Oh my god, my material needs work, because I'm not good at this. <laughs> yeah, I do, but you guys are not good playmates. Woo! Oh, man. These moves, oh my god! This game is a lot. Oh, this game is everything right now. It's everything in general and just everything at this moment. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Pencil neck. Circus in town. I love the skulls. Oh, whew. who's that? Who are you? And where are you? Oh no! It's the green shirt guy. My my worst enemy. He is more difficult, or just as difficult, I should say, as Uncle Ben's killer. Oh my god. Look at how he, he's not even... He just hops right back up, this guy. Oh, he's like the, the Uncle Ben's killer's right-hand man. Or like the, you know, the skulls. 
uh, leader. Because, like, you know, Uncle Ben's Killer is supposed to be, like, the Skulls leader, I think. Um, you know, in this game. So, that guy all around is just a piece of work. That green shirt guy. I remember getting killed a bajillion times from him just to get the fuse. And now we got the key. So, uh, yeah, he's dead. Uncle Ben's Killer. He's, he's gone. Better save this for when I need it. You need it now, Toby. We're gonna destroy Dennis Carradine. But I just call him Uncle Ben's Killer because in this universe, come on. And I remember as a kid, I ran up the stairs, but all I know is that now I can just do this. Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh my god, and that's it. We we are good. Oh, where's the stairs, though? We go right here. So drop down, and yep, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Hardest part right here, guys. Oh my god, I'm ready. I'm ready to take you on, man. Come on, you killed my uncle. Whoa. Oh, I remember I hate this guy so much. Where are you going? I don't know who you are, but you're dead meat. Save it. You are gonna get such a world of beating. He's up there somewhere. I can hear him. You can, but you're not gonna get away too easily. Oh my god, this guy, I swear! This guy is insane. You are dead. You killed my uncle, you sack of garbage! What was that? The Apple of Eden? You can't, you're not getting away with that. This is an Assassin's Creed. I got you now, you jerk. <laughs> oh my god. You aren't going anywhere, dude. This music alone is just so iconic. Get away from me. Get back here! You killed my Uncle Ben! You murderer! Oh my god. Where'd he go? Oh my god, I hate you so much, dude. This is literally like the one of the most challenging boss fights for me as a kid. And now I almost beat him already. I remember as a kid, though, I died so many times. Handspring, baby! Yeah, there we go! Knocked out. No! You! Not you! Stay back! I'm warning you, you psycho! I could have stopped you at the fight promoter's office. I could have saved Uncle Ben. What a hero! <laughs> at least in this game, they tried to, um, you know, rectify what the movie did, where he did fall out. Like, Toby didn't push him out in the movie or anything, but in this, it's just like he got scared and then he fell out the window. But he got him! Nice. And this, this cutscene right here, as a kid, I didn't understand it. Now, this is, like, beautiful, this cutscene right here. These are the years when a man I swear to you guys. becomes the man he's going to be for the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. You're feeling this power of becoming a man, and with this great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben. Nothing could ever fill the hole left when he died. Those wounds never really heal. The beautiful redhead is Mary Jane Watson. The guy is Harry Osborne, my best friend. They stuck with me after Uncle Ben died. Harry's dad, Norman, was great, too. He even let Harry and me stay in one of the apartments he owned after we graduated and moved into the city. I got a job with the Daily Bugle, taking pictures of... myself. Life sure is strange sometimes. No matter how much you want to hold on to a moment, you can't stop time from moving on. Get him, Spidey! Oh my god. General Slocum has given Oscorp a week to prove that we can develop a working serum. Or we are going to lose the contract to Quest Labs, given how much we have invested in this research. Losing the contract could bankrupt Oscorp. I can only assume that Spider-Man relates to our problem in some way. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Osborne. As that video showed, Spider-Man possesses all the attributes our project hopes to create. We hypothesize that he has augmented spider DNA in his system and feels certain that an analysis of his blood will enable us to complete our serum. We can modify the hunter killers to track this DNA signature and capture Spider-Man. Do it. Go for it. The hunter killers, baby? Oh my god. I swear to you. Oh my god. These hunter killers? These hunter killers are the bane of my existence. I swear to you. Especially in that Oscorp fight where you fight the giant hunter killer. 
Oh my god. When I was a kid, I was, like, freaked out by these things, too. And I love how even, like, they're so iconic. They put them in the Amazing Spider-Man well, 1. Well, if I want to get paid this week, I'd better come up with some photos for Jonah. The city's been quiet, so I guess I'm gonna have to settle for some aerial acrobatics. I can get in some practice while I'm at it. And now we're in the classic suit, baby! I remember when I was a kid, I freaked out so much just seeing this suit and being able to play in this Spider-Man suit. Even, like, now, like, again, this city or at least this game in terms of graphics and design overall, is literally better looking, in my opinion, than uh, Spider-Man 2. Oh my god. I love how you just it just start swinging. Just go for it. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, let's do this. Oh, man. I'm not ready. Couple of nice shots, but nothing JJ's gonna pay top dollar for. Why not? Just because he's a cheapskate or what? That I can get in some practice while I'm at it. Park. Huh. That was okay. But the shots need more action. The action isn't big enough. Ah. Uh, was this the start of the balloons? Because of Spider-Man 1? Because he had all the cool little, like, attributes of swinging towards it and getting action shots? Maybe that's why kids had their balloons be lost Tag in the first box. place. So they could just see Don't Spidey try. do those cool moves. And again, I'm sorry for Toby cutting off. I don't know that they're going to stop talking if I do an action. I'm sorry about that. It's because they think I'm still like four years old playing this game. But don't worry, we're, we're going to do this. Not bad. That should do it. That's right. Look at him go, baby. Oh my god, this music and him swinging in this costume is literally everything to me. Okay, I have those shots for JJ. Now to get back to the bugle, collect my money... And get my rent paid. Uh oh. I don't know what that thing is. Now to get back to the bugle, collect my. Uh oh. I don't know what that. Toby, are you okay? Again, guys, like I said, this game's old, so expect audio glitches like that. I was quiet that whole time because I thought he was going to finish the sentence, but. Huh. Sorry about that. My game is very These old. You guys are really persistent. And I remember fighting these things until the end of my existence. I remember these guys were so hard to beat for some reason. Oscorp, you sons of guns. We're here to save the city, not try and be experimented on by these robots. Oh, I remember these guys. I hate them so much, especially when fighting them, again, like in the Oscorp level. But when I first saw them here, I was like, wow, this is like super cool. Fighting enemies above these rooftops is just the coolest thing ever. Come on, Spidey. Where'd they go? You can find them. These things just keep coming. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Here they come. Oh, my God. Hunter killers, you evil sons of guns. Oh, and you are shooting guns at me, which is even worse. I don't know. Make sure if they have an Oscorp brand logo on their backs or something. I'll never get out of here. Oh my god, guys, please! Future or something lame like that, right? <laughs> Maybe. I know it makes enemies, but this is a bit much. That is a bit much, Spider-Man, I would agree. Especially sending out fifteen of them to fight one guy. Yeah, that's kinda that's it's a bit intense. Oh my god, okay, they're grouping up on me. And they're winning. Let me get some health. I'm already at full health. No, I'm not. I need health, Spidey. We need to find some health. Now they're shooting missiles and stuff? Oh my god, okay. Where's some health, Spidey? You gotta find it quick. Swing faster. Oh my god. Woo! This game is the best, I swear. Chaos. I remember seeing that as a kid. Like, what is it spelling out in the sky? I never really understood that until now, but... Oh man, I love how you can even swing over here. Like, look at all these little areas that you can just go and explore. And it's just the best. Okay, we're good. Now back to fighting, you guys. Come on, get back here. Are you guys recyclable? Yes. Just for reference, are you guys recyclable? Maybe it's because they're green with envy, Spider-Man, or green is to save the environment. Either way, I think it, it helps out. At least that's a good thing Oscorp does. They make recyclable objects. That would suck a lot, Spider-Man, if they were to capture you and use you as a test subject. Guys, please, we can work this out, okay? No need to use violence or guns or lasers or anything of the sort. Please. We can talk this out like man to robot. That's the last of them. But who sent them? 
We're gonna find out in the next episode, baby. Oh my god. Oh, and yes, save the game. Because in the next episode is gonna be Shocker. Oh my god, literally. This is my favorite incarnation of Shocker of all time. You're, that you're gonna see in part three. Um, because the voice is amazingly perfect. The costume is, is just iconic. And just everything about the, the subway level in Grand Central Station is just the best. Yes. Save, please. Oh, man. Whew. Okay. I think that's enough nostalgia for me to handle in one day. Um, sorry for the audio glitches with the, you know, the Hunter Killers. Again, this game is old, and my copy of it is kind of strange. So just expect there to be audio glitches now and again. Um, but yeah, definitely expect part three to come out soon. Um, in part three, we're going to take on Shocker and fight in the Spider-Man costume in Grand Central Station, which is literally one of the coolest levels in the entire game, if not my favorite level in the entire game. And it's just an awesome time. This game is amazing. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Stay tuned for part three coming soon. Peace out.